happy prince. Many years ago, in a land far away, a weary little swallow flying south for the winter landed at the feet of a tall golden statue in the middle of a town square. Shivering from the cold, the swallow had just tucked his head under his wing to sleep when a huge teardrop landed beside him. Who are you and why are you crying? They call me the Happy Prince. Happy? Then why do you cry so? The statue explained that from his lofty vantage point, he could see into every corner of every house in the town, and many of the things he saw made his heart truly ache. That night he saw a poor woman, thin and drawn, toiling over a gown for one of the Queen's maids of honour. In the corner, the woman's son sweated with fever. Dear Swallow, would you pluck the ruby from the hilt of my sword and take it to that woman? Then she can sell it to buy medicine for her son. The swallow agreed. He plucked out the ruby with his beak and carrying it through the woman's open window, he dropped it into her lap. When he returned to the happy prince, the swallow was surprised to find he no longer felt cold. That is the kindness of a good deed warming your heart. The next evening, as the swallow prepared to be on his way, another tear fell from the prince's eyes. This night he had seen a young writer slaving to finish a play. With no money to buy wood, he had fallen into an icy sleep. Pluck the sapphire from my eye and take it to the young man. The writer woke and was overjoyed to find the jewel that would buy him food and fuel for his fire. The little swallow returned to nestle for one last night beneath the feet of the happy prince. Next day, as the swallow again prepared to leave, the prince was once more filled with sadness. Down in the square, a little girl selling matchsticks had dropped them all in the snow and now had nothing to sell. Take her the sapphire from my other eye, but you will be blind. The prince pleaded and, unable to refuse him, the swallow plucked out the prince's other eye and took the jewel to the little girl. She wept with joy at such unexpected kindness and ran happily home to tell the great news to her family. When the swallow returned, the prince urged him to leave quickly. Winter is taking hold. If you stay any longer, you will surely freeze. You are blind and there are so many more people to help. From now on, I will be your eyes. True to his word, the little swallow flew out high over the city, reporting all the sadness and misery he saw. I am covered in gold leaf, dear friend. Use your beak to ease their sorrows. And so, as the snows grew heavier and the winds more icy, the little swallow flew those tiny glimmers of kindness to every person in need throughout the city. Day after day he flew out, no matter how freezing the weather or how painful the effort. But, as it must, the day came when no gold or jewels were left to take, and the happy prince stood stripped bare, as dull and grey as an elephant. I have come to say goodbye. The prince was indeed happy that the swallow would now fly to warmer lands. But the swallow wasn't flying south. With all his strength gone, he knew that the only journey left to make was the one that led to sleep forever. He leaned towards the prince's face, kissed his lips, and died. At that very moment, there was a great cracking sound from within the statue as the happy prince's heart broke in two. So loud was the sound that the mayor, who happened to be passing, looked up. Shocked at how drab the happy prince had become, he declared the town must have a new statue at once. The very next day, the happy prince was pulled down and taken to the furnace. Eventually, when the flames died, all that was left in the ashes were the two pieces of his broken lead heart. They were thrown onto the garbage heap where they landed right next to the body of the little swallow. And when God called for his angels to bring him the two most precious things on earth, it's no surprise to discover what they delivered. The tiny body of the little swallow and the heart of the happy prince.